Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. A rights organisation says it has found evidence that the South Sudanese government deliberately suffocated more than 60 men and boys after holding them in a shipping container. Amnesty International says the arbitrary arrest, torture and mass killing of these detainees is just one illustration of the South Sudanese government's absolute disregard for the laws of war. Unlawful confinement, torture, willfully causing great suffering and willfully killing are all war crimes. The killings are said to have taken place in October 2015. A report prepared by 30 aid agencies says despite some progress, the situation in Syria remains fragile. It says a cessation of hostilities has allowed greater humanitarian access to besieged areas, but that overall life expectancy and the average monthly income have decreased while unemployment and poverty have shot up. It has called on international powers to help end the five-year war. The report says the members of the Security Council and the ISSG, with direct influence over the combatants on the battlefield, must stand up for Syria's people and the stability and prosperity of the wider region. Tin Chor is officially one of the three final candidates to be Myanmar's next president. He is the top aide for the National League for Democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Tin Chor is expected to serve as proxy for Suu Kyi. The constitution bars her from taking office because her children are foreign citizens, but she says she'll be above the president. The parliament has also chosen a second NLD candidate as finalist. Myanmar's military will propose the third candidate. AlphaGo, an artificial intelligence system designed by Google DeepMind, has won two out of five games against professional Go player Lee Sedol. He's an 18-time world champion, currently ranked number two. He says, Yesterday I could still say that the computer played Go in a strange manner, but the computer defeated me perfectly today. The ancient Chinese game, played on a 19 by 19 grid, is considered to be highly complex. Demis Hassibis, CEO and co-founder of Google DeepMind, said it is based more on intuition than calculation. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.